So what I look for, uh, I buy a lot of yearlings and two-year-olds, and what I look for is balance. Uh, and not all of them always do, but I like this part to be about the same as this part. You know, balanced. Uh, I like this. This horse is a very nice horse here. He's very well put together. Uh, he's got a nice, strong legs. He's not too wide in the shoulders. Uh, you could see when he was moving around, he's very uh, level with his top line, which makes it easier to, you know, train him more because that's really what I want anyway. Um, you know, he's got good feet, his legs are good, uh, legs are going forward, not sideways. Uh, and and, and appearance-wise, this is a nice looking horse in my opinion. What you want in horses is efficiency. If it was a pleasure horse, a cutting horse, a reining horse, a rope horse, you want them to be efficient. And if you have a horse that's a really high climbing horse, uh, uh, and a, you know, his feet are, when he moves, his feet come off the ground so high, He's not going to be very efficient and uh, also we you know we look for softness while we're training these horses how to you know teach them how to be soft off our hands off our legs if a horse isn't a good mover this doesn't mean he can't be trained and be good he can be but you're always going to have to work a little harder on that horse to keep him efficient um, and trust me i don't i would never tell Anybody, a high horse, high-headed horse, or a high loping horse, won't win money because he will. I mean, it's it's uh, it's just you have to work on them a little bit more, more. And then, uh, like, I have a lot of different types of clients here that some of our some are investors, and then you gotta if that horse is a you know real high-headed horse or a real high galloping horse, it's harder to find a client for him, you know. So, uh, uh, but. Any horse can win, any horse can do this stuff. Uh, it's just to what level and what degree you want to do it at. So those are the keys, you know, and, and you know, sometimes breeding plays into it. Uh, you, there's a good, you know, a lot of good breeding programs out there now, so you can see where there's consistency out of these particular mares and studs. You know, that you can see uh, siblings, how well they've done. But more, I look at the individual. Uh, papers come later, you know.